middle school, an ordinary school filled with ordinary kids with all the ordinary problems of growing up. But in my case, life is anything but ordinary. You see, I was raised by bugs. Get the picture? Out of the ordinary fairy tale without the fairy. A family that seems a little scary. like an earthquake. Marcellus? Is something wrong? No, it couldn't be more right. It's snow! A ton! Enough for a snow day! Meaning no school! And I'm very upset to miss the physics club egg drop contest. We are gonna have fun, fun, fun at the park! There's only seven hours and Two minutes of daylight left, so let's get to work. I mean, play. <laughs> Chris Alice, uh, would it be okay if I changed out of my pajamas first? with modern architecture by building igloo skyscrapers. Or we could have a toboggan race for the history books where we break the sound barrier. Uh, igloo, toboggan, translation, please. These are basic snow day activities. Gee, Creepy, did you grow up under a rock? <laughs> no, but some of my cousins did. Just follow my lead. Operation Winter Wonderland, phase one, igloo building. <laughs> the neoclassical school of architecture. What about yours, Creepy? Is that postmodern? Romanesque? It's beehive-esque. I haven't heard of that school. Never mind. On to phase two. Sledding! Follow me. Sure, we want to ride over all these bumps. What bumps? Hmm, that was strange. Now, the most important thing you have to remember when sledding is you have to scream really loud! <laughs> Wicked. Did you see that? Sorry about that, Chris Alice. Oh, we just wanted to see if you guys were up for a snowball fight. Not yet. That's phase eight. You've arrived just in time for Operation Winter Wonderland. Phase three. Snowman building. We'll call him Mr. Freezy Weezy. Lame. That's like the lamest lame thing in the history of lame. Yeah, and it's not even cool either. I'll help. Did I say lame? Uh, I meant... Let me at that snowman. <laughs> Mr. Freezy Weezy strikes the snowman pose. Oh, he's wonderful in every way down to his carrot nose. Come on, everyone. Down, down 
Say freaky. It's a winter miracle. Now he's perfect. Next up on Operation Winter Wonderland, phase four. Ice skating. I brought an extra pair for you, Creepy. Don't you just love them? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cute? Does Harry look skating? Beyond cute. <gasps> Carla, we have to capture it forever with a cell phone pic. <sighs> hey, you're blocking my view. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, wasn't he over there before? I'm not sure. He was definitely on my right, but I might have been facing the other way, so that would have been my left. So, wait, which way is north again? Is it just, whoa, me? Or is that slow man staring at us? He's probably staring because he's never seen pink ice skates before. Look, over that way! Over which way? Whoa, anyone know? How Frozen Guy got from way over there to, whoa, right here? Ah! I'm new to this Operation Winter Wonderland stuff, but that's not normal, right? <gasps> Maybe the pond moved and the snowman stayed in the same place. Ever think of that? This is a great practical joke, Harry! <laughs> Good one! <laughs> Yeah, right. Harry would never, ever do something like that. And if he did, it'd be the funniest joke ever! <laughs> Wasn't me. Like I said, he's innocent. Anything could have moved him. A, a strong gust of wind, a, a shift in the Earth's tectonic plate. Where did that come from? Look! But, Mr. Freezy Weezy, I, I thought we were friends. We better this man the snowman. ASAP. There's no time. Look. Operation Winter Wonderland Phase Five. Run! Uh, shouldn't we be running? Love to, but apparently I'm frozen in fear. <laughs> Please tell me we made it out of the snowball's path. We did, but now we're right in Mr. Freezy Weezy's path. <sighs> Woe can mean a lot of different, mostly horrible, things. What's going on? Ice worms, of course. So what's the deal? Why are you terrorizing me and my friends? Well, we wouldn't have to if you pesky kids didn't make such a ruckus. You woke us up from our winter hibernation. Okay, but flying icicles? Ice cracking? We weren't trying to hurt you kids. Just shoo you away so we could get some sleep. Whoa, we've got some cranky ice worms here who just wanted to take a nap. But obviously we're not gonna get any sleep with you noisy kids around. Oh, come on, fellas. Let's go find someplace quiet. 
Agreed. But now I'm ready to go home, make some hot chocolate, and wait for summer. Actually, I was just starting to get into this winter wonderland thing. Can we stick around? That depends. Are you planning on making another snowman? Well, not exactly. A snow spider! That's gotta be a first! And not an ice worm in sight to cause any trouble. So, should we go home? Hmm. Some like it hot, but ice worms like it cold. Ice worms stay buried inside glaciers during the day. At night, they squirm to the surface to feast on algae in the snow. Kind of gives me the chills. Is it just me, or does the carnival seem different today? If by different you mean deserted, then yeah. Here comes Harry. And there he goes. Weird. What's up with him? Yeah. He didn't even stop to tell us how great he is. The new video arcade's more popular than the Tiki Chalet on Two for One Luau Burger Day. I've got some quarters. And we've both got opposable thumbs. Want to go test our manual dexterity? Uh, I'm not really into video games. Don't you want to see what everyone is all excited about? Yes. Wicked. Miss Alice? Too late. I'm out of juice. I don't get it. I do. They're playing Toxic Mutant Millipede. Toxic Mutant Millipede? Hello. It's the hottest game out right now. How do you play it? We're part of a space crew that's been stranded on this uninhabited planet in outer space. And this really vicious giant millipede has captured some of your crew. That's a harsh. Millipedes are not vicious. They're really sweet and peace-loving. You should meet my cousin Victor. Trust me, Creepy. This is one millipede you don't want crawling up your family tree. See it for yourself. Ignition. Prepare for liftoff. It's almost like the real thing. <laughs> It appears, Lieutenant Creepy, that we are in an uncharted corner of the Magna Sector, somewhere in the Epsilon Supercluster. Thanks for clearing that up. And thanks for making me a lieutenant. So let's find the so-called Vicious Millipede. No, don't you get it, Creepy? We don't go looking for the Millipede. It comes after us. And if it does, we zap it with our sonic laser blasters. Instead of zapping it, couldn't we just talk to it? Hmm. Start talking! Let's see. Settle down, big guy. Creepy? I've got this. Hey, Millipede. You're not so vicious, are you? See? I knew he was harmless. Look out! <laughs> What do we do? We gotta get out of here! I don't know. I've never played this before. You're the game expert. And you're the bug expert. <laughs> Quick, tell me everything you know about millipedes. Well, 
All my millipede relatives have really bad eyesight. I mean, they're always bumping into the buffet table at my family reunions and stuff. Okay, well, let me know if you see the buffet table. I'll lead them right to it. Well, how about we lead them into that dark cave? Yeah, yeah, maybe we can trap them in there. Okay, fine, but don't hurt him. Yay! Oh, Millipede! Over here! Yummy, crusty humans! Right this way! It took the bait! Fudge? Where'd you go? Right here! Night vision goggles buys us three minutes of game time to rescue our crew. Where is our crew, anyhow? Yay! First things first. Yay! Our plan is working. Maybe a little too well. I feel sort of bad for it. Whoa! How about us? That never happened at the family reunion. Well, apparently you're not related to any toxic mutant millipedes. Okay, I admit it. This millipede's not too friendly. Time for plan B. What's plan B? Run! something. Yes, I'm here! Even weirder, the boulder sounds just like Chris Alice. This isn't a boulder. It's a giant millipede's nest. And these aren't eggs. It's our missing crew. If only there was a nest dissolver or, or a nest opening device. What about a nest disintegrator? Now you're thinking like a gamer. It'll cost us an extra one minute of game time, but I think it's worth it. Oh. 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 This is gross. Wow, creepy. You just scored 5,000 points. Never mind the points. You just saved us from being dinner for that worm. It's a millipede. Chris Alice, Harry, you're the missing space crew? You guys okay? I've been better. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're all inside this game together. I mean, I'm scared to death, and this is disgusting. But I'm glad we're all such good friends, and they say this kind of thing makes you be at that, if you know what I mean. Thanks for rescuing us, by the way. Hold the thanks until after we found a way out of this cave. Any ideas? Yup. And I thought it was just a fashion accessory. Actually, I've never known a millipede with more than 140 legs. How many millipedes do you know? Did I say no? I don't mean like close personal friends or anything. Hey, does anyone know how we get to the next level? The only way is to cross the bridge of no return. I think it's that way. Ah! Face it, 
Salas. It's game over for us. Not if we jump. But what's to stop the millipede from jumping in after us? Millipedes are terrible swimmers. Gee, Creepy, where'd you learn so much about bugs? Well... Are we jumping or not? We have to do it before we're out of points. Geronimo! like I haven't blinked for hours. Maybe that's how long we've been playing. We outplayed everybody else here. I don't know about you guys, but that video game was a bit too realistic for me. And dangerous. Awesome graphics, though. I bet someday we won't be able to tell the difference between what's real and what's not anymore. <laughs> Millipede is sweet and harmless until something tries to mess with it. Then it secretes a stinky poison called cyanide that can burn or even kill its predators. 